What's up, y'all? All right, so we're gonna diagnose this four-wheeler real quick. We're gonna do this just quick and easy. So this thing isn't charging, right? It doesn't have any power at the battery. It's not charging at all. And we checked it with the multimeter, and it's not charging. So we checked the main fuse. It's over there, and the main fuse is good. So we took it out, checked it with the multimeter. It was good. So then we went back to the regulator slash rectifier, and it's kind of hard to see, but it's right there, that little metal box. So the stator, which is what provides the power to the voltage regulator slash rectifier, is those three white wires right there, and it comes from the other side of the motor. And on four-wheelers and boats and stuff, they go bad a lot because they get hot and they burn up. And the voltage regulator slash rectifier is right there, and the stator wires go into it. Now we're going to do a quick and easy test on this. This is going to be low cost, you know, grab the multimeter and test it real quick. And we're going to see if this fixes it. So those three wires right there, we're going to test them with the multimeter to see if we have any power from the stator. And we have a new regulator slash rectifier right here. So we're going to see if that fixes the problem, but first I want to show y'all the quick and dirty test to see if you have any power right here. Now, I already know it's good, but I'm going to show y'all what it looks like when it is good or, you know, is hopefully good enough. And you can see where the AC voltage, that's three phase AC voltage, it comes from the stator, goes into the regulator slash rectifier, and there's a red and black that come out of there. The black is ground, the red is positive. So you have AC voltage going in and DC voltage coming out, which is charging the battery. So you go from the stator, AC three phase, into the voltage regulator slash rectifier, converts it to DC, you know, 14 volts or whatever, comes out and comes to the battery. So let's get that connector off there and see what kind of voltage we have. Well, you can see that it, it was charging, but it wasn't charging before. And before we only had like 10 volts or something like that, right? So that part's bad. I wish I could have showed y'all where it wasn't charging before, but that part's bad. So we're going to swap it out real quick, and we should have a constant voltage. You see how it was jumping all over the place? It's not supposed to be like that. So let's swap that part out, and let's see what we get. All right, in order to check the stator, you got to measure the coil resistance, and you can see... 0.10 ohm our multimeter doesn't go down that low and yours probably doesn't either so we're going to do quick and dirty and you can see positive to one negative to two positive to one you can see how to test them with the multimeter so we got our multimeter right here and it's going to be set to ac voltage then we're going to probe these wires with the thing running to see what kind of voltage we get from it to make sure the stator's working. Now if you can find it, there's probably ranges of the voltage that it's supposed to be, but I can't find that online, so we're gonna see what kind of voltage we got coming out of here, and then we're gonna pop that new rectifier on here and see if it fixed the problem. There was also a little bit of corrosion down in here, and that wasn't helping at all, so we're going to have to clean that out and put some dielectric grease because that's going to keep the corrosion at bay. So let's see what the voltage is with this thing running.
right, so you can see we got plenty of voltage from the stator, and y'all saw it got up to like 60 volts, so our stator's good. You just gotta test them like that. Find the service manual, find out the pinouts, and test them, but you can see I was showing y'all we tested all of them. If you've got like one leg of the three-phase that isn't what it's supposed to be, then your stator's cooked. So we're gonna swap this voltage regulator out and it should hopefully be fixed. So stick in there, we'll be right back. Give it a little gas. So there you go guys, it's fixed. You see it's charging now, and we had steady voltage. It wasn't jumping all over the place like it was before. So yeah, that's just a quick and dirty way to do it. Make sure you put dielectric grease all down in those connectors and clean them out, you know, with rubbing alcohol to get all the dirt and stuff out of there. Thanks for watching y'all. If this helped y'all out, don't forget to check the description down below for links to parts to anything I used in this video. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe while y'all are at it later